Hi, I'm 3D Steve, Senior Technical Advisor for 123 3D. Today we're going to be doing a bed levelling video for the Ender 5 S1. Okay, so first job, we'll turn on the printer, let it cycle through its boot up program. Then we select prepare, temperature settings, preheat for PLA. The whole point of this is to get everything up to working temperature before we start the bed levelling process. It's very important to ensure that everything has warmed up to the temperature that you're going to be printing at. This is important because obviously heat makes things expand. So if we did it when it was cold, we'd probably end up with the nozzle being far too close to the bed, giving us poor print results. Okay, so we'll just press the home button just to see what temperature we're at. And as you can see, we've reached the operating temperature. So now we'll just click on settings, leveling method, select the machine home itself. Okay, so the printer is now homed and is in position one as marked on the screen. So what I tend to do first off is I, I start in the front left corner, which will be number two. So we just press number two. So piece of paper, we just place that on the print bed and then press number two. Right, so I'm going to take a sheet of paper, placing it between the nozzle and the print bed. And all we're going to do is just adjust the knobs until we have a little bit of friction between the printer nozzle and the print bed. Just a little bit of a, a drag, not too much. And then we'll move to position three. Now we are just going to do the same again to this corner. Okay, number four. Whenever you're adjusting the knobs, it's important just to turn a fraction each time as it's very sensitive. Number five. It's important to repeat the process a couple of times, just working your way around the bed, because obviously when you move one corner, the opposite corner can change quite drastically as well. So it's important just to work your way around, just keep checking until you don't have to make any, any further adjustments. Okay, superb, and then we'll just finish at number one in the center of the print bed. Superb, so remove the paper and we shall now move on to the next step, which is auto leveling. So we'll just select auto level and then we press the start button. The little printer will do now is it will rehome itself again and then it will probe a number of different positions over the print bed. This compensates for any slight discrepancies that might be in the flatness of the print bed. It could be a dish, a bump, and the purpose of this is just to create a mesh for the printer so it knows where to compensate for high spots and low spots. Next job, we've allowed the auto bed leveling program to run. That has finished. So now, we load some filament to the printer. So now we have the filament loaded, we are going to print a bed levelling calibration print. The bed levelling calibration prints are readily available on sites like Thingiverse, Printables, and you can actually download a plugin for Cura that allows you to import directly loads of different calibration files from bed leveling right the way up to retraction and temperature towers. Okay, so we've finished with the calibration print. As you can see down this side, as we were adjusting the Z offset, we weren't quite getting enough squish. But the rest of it, all the way around, after we've made that adjustment, we can see that we've got nice print lines to this side of the bed. We could be a fraction 
low and at like 0.1 of a millimeter, if, if that. But you can just see on those three squares, we have a little bit of a rough surface, whereas these are nice and smooth, how you'd expect them to be. Everything's squished down. So we can say that this print would be a successful print. We've got no problems with bed adhesion. We've adjusted the Z offset after we've leveled the bed. Um, and yeah, if we wanted to, we could fine tune a little bit more. But in this instance, I don't really see the need to. We could continue to print. No problem. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe and check out our channel for more 3D printing content.